everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use a meter dose inhaler with a spacer. Okay, so what is a meter dose inhaler? It is an inhaler that will deliver a set amount of a medication into the lungs. So it's used by people who have respiratory diseases like asthma, COPD. And those medications generally given are like bronchodilators like albuterol or corticosteroids like fluticasone, like, which is Flovent. And these medications will help either dilate the lungs, which is a bronchodilator, or corticosteroid, which will help suppress the immune system, decrease that inflammation in the lungs. Now, when using a meter dose inhaler, it is best to use a spacer. And why is that? Well, um, whenever you're using those open or closed mouth techniques, like how I demonstrated in the previous video, those take a lot of dexterity. You have to be able to press the inhaler button down and inhale at the same time. And if don't do it correctly, a lot of the medication will end up in the mouth and instead of the lungs. But using the spacer helps decrease that because it gives the patient, in a sense, time to hit the button and inhale. And it helps prevent a lot of that medication, especially that corticosteroid, from collecting in the mouth, which can in the end cause thrush. So always try to get one of these for your patients. So let me show you how to actually use it. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is perform hand hygiene, perform the patient's five rides. Make sure you have the right patient, the right drug, the right time, the right route, and the right dose because you'll be giving these in puffs. So check all that information out. And another thing you want to remember is while you're doing your check off is that you want to make sure you know exactly which inhaler to give when. For instance, say you're giving a bronchodilator and a corticosteroid, so the patient has two inhalers, which one would you want to give first? You want to give the bronchodilator first because it's going to dilate out that those lungs and then five minutes later you would want to give your corticosteroid so it can go in there, do its job and decrease inflammation. Also, say that you were just going to be giving one inhaler but it required two puffs. Well, you would give the one dose that they need the one puff and then one minute later you can administer the second puff. So if you're giving the same drug you would wait a minute but if you're going to do bronchodilator and then a corticosteroid you would want to wait five minutes. In addition after giving the corticosteroid inhaler you would want the patient to immediately gargle and rinse with water and spit that water out to remove any possible corticosteroids that have collected in the mouth because if they stay in the mouth they can irritate those mucous membranes and cause thrush. So first what you want to do is you want to prime the inhaler and you'll do that if this is the first time you're using the inhaler or if it's been dropped or the patient hasn't used it in a week or more or if it's been recently cleaned. And while you're in the process of doing that, just check the inhaler, make sure it's not expired. And you can do that by popping it off the canister and looking at the date. And this expires in 2020, so we're good. Also, just quickly check to make sure there's enough doses in this inhaler. And of course, if it's new, there is enough doses, but if this has been used before, you just want to make sure that you have enough puffs in here. And a lot of times, the inhaler has a counter on it that you can look at it or the box will tell you how many doses are in each inhaler. So check that out. In this particular one, there's 200 sprays. So you'll want to count out how many times the patient's going to be using it and how many days that's going to transpire over. For instance, if the patient was going to be using this inhaler four times a day, twice in the morning, twice at night, that's four puffs, and it has 200 puffs, how many days is that gonna last us? 50 days, so you wanna keep track of that. So to prime it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cap off and um, just check inside the inhaler, make sure there's nothing hanging out in there, because sometimes patients like to keep these in their purse and some lint and other things can get in there and you don't want them to inhale it, so make sure it's clean. And we're gonna give it a good shake, so hold it in between your thumb and your fingers and shake it for about eight to 10 seconds, get it mixed up really well. And then we're gonna give it four sprays. So it's nice and primed. 
So after priming the inhaler, you're ready to connect the inhaler to the spacer. So make sure that the cap of the inhaler is off and then take the cap of the spacer off because this is the mouthpiece where the patient's gonna put their mouth at and actually inhale. And then this part right here is where you're gonna connect the mouthpiece of the inhaler into the spacer. So just connect it like so and it stays on. Then have your patient set up, hold the inhaler with the thumb and with the fingers, and then just give it a good shake for eight to 10 seconds. Then have the patient breathe in through the mouth and then out through the mouth until they can no longer breathe out. They will seal their mouth around this chamber with the in between their teeth or tongue flat. And then they will press the inhaler down and then inhale. So it's different from those other techniques that we use where they had to simultaneously press it down and inhale. So they press it down, then inhale, inhale until they can no longer inhale anymore, and then they'll hold it for about 10 to 12 seconds and then breathe out slowly. And again, they would want to rinse their mouth. They use corticosteroids, and if they have to repeat the dose, they will do that in one minute. So now let me show you what that would look like. And after that, of course, you will have the patient rinse their mouth, gargle and spit water if it was a corticosteroid, and you will recap your inhaler and your spacer, then perform hand hygiene and document. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to use a meter dose inhaler with a spacer. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.